As humans, we tend to spend a lot of time on preparing our food. From cutting it in smaller pieces, boiling it, frying it, seasoning it, and many more to create a dish. In nature, animals also spend a lot of time to search for food, but foraging innovations are not human exclusive. In general, we can find two types of foraging innovations. One in which an animal feeds of a novel food item outside of its usual diet, and second where an animal uses a new foraging technique to get the food. Food preparations in which an animal processes food that is already edible in its current state to improve the quality of the food can be part of these foraging techniques. One example of this is dunking behavior, in which an animal dunks food in a liquid before consuming it. Five potential functions of dunking behavior have been suggested throughout the literature. First, an animal could soak the food, which could help with ingestion. Second, an animal can dunk the food to clean it by getting rid of dirt or toxins in the water. Third, an animal can dunk in a medium that can add flavor to the food, for example by dunking in salt water. Fourth, one can drown live prey in water before eating it. And fifth, one can use the food as a sponge that will contain the fluid that they can then carry somewhere else, for example to their nestlings. Often observations are anecdotal and it is thus difficult to infer its function. At the Goffin lab in Lower Austria, we previously observed foraging innovation in Goffin's cockatoos dunking food in water. Further observations showed that they mainly only dunked dry rusk and fresh water and that they on average left the food in the water for almost 20 seconds, leading us to conclude that the likeliest function of this behavior was to soak the dry rust. Not much later, however, we observed another type of dunking behavior during breakfast, where we saw a few individuals dunking food in soy yogurt and eating it. As this soy yogurt was flavored, it could potentially add taste to the food. Thus, we set out to investigate if the cockatoos were potentially flavoring their food with the yogurt, similarly to humors dunking food in condiments. Food flavoring behavior is by our knowledge only described in one other species. On the Japanese island of Koshima, Japanese macaques have been observed dunking sweet potatoes in salt water. This behavior was described as dipping the potato into salt water, gnawing it once or twice, and then repeating this behavior. Although this behavior has been a monumental example of cultural behavior in animals, other factors, such as the food provisioning location and the drying up of the freshwater brook, could have also caused the shift to dunk in salt seawater. Therefore, this singularly flavoring example has not been experimentally confirmed. We therefore set out to investigate this in more detail with our cockatoos. First focusing on the function of this behavior, by looking at what food items the birds dunked, in what medium the birds dunked their food, and how long they left it in the medium before eating it. Next to that, we wanted to see if this behavior was done by the entire group or just a few individuals, to see if this was another potential foraging innovation. Our observations were done during the morning feeding of the birds, in which they were presented with either cooked noodles and cauliflower or cooked potatoes and carrots. To investigate if the birds were dunking to flavor their food, we presented them with three different media. Blueberry soy yogurt, neutral soy yogurt as a control, and fresh water. We placed these three mediums with equal distance from the food bowl and then observed if the cockatoos had a preference to dunk in the blueberry soy yogurt, which would indicate that they would flavor their food. From our observations, we found that 9 out of 18 cockatoos dunked their food. Among them, they mainly had a preference for dunking noodles. And they had a preference to dunk in the blueberry soy yogurt over the neutral one, and we never observed them dunking in the water. Additionally, in contrast to the soaking study, the birds only left their food in the medium for a very short time. Looking at their behavior in a qualitative manner, the cockatoos always ate a combination of the food and the yogurt. 
and were not seen licking off the yogurt to eat it separately. They also started by eating the yogurt covered parts first and sometimes even re their food after there was little yogurt on the food left. To further investigate the preference for the combination of the food and the yogurt, we tested the dunking birds individually in a free choice preference task where they could choose between the plain food, the soy yogurt and the combination of the two. Although there were individual differences, the most frequent dunkers had a significant preference for the food covered with yogurt. One alternative explanation for their uh, yogurt preference could be that they preferred blueberry yogurt because of its color. We therefore also tested the birds with similarly colored cubes for a color preference in a two-choice task. However, most cockatoos did not show a significant preference, thus excluding this potential factor. Taking together, we found 9 out of our 18 cockatoos dunking the food in soy yogurt, where they had a preference for blueberry yogurt. They ate this yogurt covered food as a combination, sometimes even redunking it, and given a choice, they had a significant preference for the combination of both food items. These findings lead us to conclude that the function of this behavior is to flavor the food. A rarely reported food preparation behavior in non-human animals, with the only exception being the dunking observations of the Japanese macaques. As this behavior was not present in the entire group, but only performed by nine individuals, this once again could suggest a foraging innovation, which would show a second dunking innovation with another function. But whether the yogurt dunking started as a repurpose of the soaking behavior from the previous study, we do not know. Taking this study and the previous soaking study together, we can now report two different functions of dunking behavior in the same population of Goffin's cockatoos. One function where the cockatoos dunked and left their dry rusk in water to soak it. And another function where the cockatoos dunked and dragged noodles in a blueberry yogurt to seemingly flavor their food. This once again shows the innovative potential of the Goffin's cockatoos and shows simple form of food preparation behavior in non-human animals especially presenting in rare flavoring behavior.